Let's talk about some Power Platform on Microsoft 365 animation tips. We're going to talk about today the powerful animations VS Code extension. You may be like, what is that? Well, let's find out together. My name is David Warner. I am a uh, enthusiast for the community. Uh, I run a blog called Warner.Digital, and I work at Microsoft. And hey, I'm hosting the call. So uh, let's talk about what we're going to talk about today. So the agenda, again, the best investment is in the tools of one's own trade, right? So in my last session, uh, we talked about using VS VS Code. So today we're going to talk specifically about using VS Code for uh, SVG animations and how you can put them into Power Apps, right? Uh, and then we're going to preview a new extension called Powerful Animations, and then we'll talk a little bit about what's next. All right, so just for those that are uh, a reminder, Visual Studio Code is really a fantastic tool for all of us to use, whether we're in the Power Platform or not. It is super useful. It's got tons of features and add-ons and extensions and really cool things that you can do with it. So that's going to be the premise. You can go get it at ak.ms slash VSC if you'd like. But let's talk about animations. So when we're talking about preparing SVG animations for Power Apps, you have to go through and kind of do this, uh, I don't know, it's a little bit of a process, right? So you have to search and replace the double quotes with single quotes for pasting into animations or uh, pasting into VS Code, excuse me, or pasting into uh, Power Apps. Thank you. There we go. And then you need to prefix it and suffix it, essentially put something at the beginning and the end to make it work, right? So is there a better way? Is there a better way? Well, let's take a look. So I'm going to pop on over to VS Code here. And I've got an SVG opened up here. And uh, using some of those extensions that I talked about in the last one, which is an SVG extension I'll give you the links for later. It's not what we're going to hover or uh, focus on today. But you can preview the SVG. So what I've got there is just a little football going through this little quick little animation thing, right, that goes through and looks like it's being kicked off and flying through the air. Something real simple. It's really just using a rotation animation. It's very, very simple. right? So that's what we should see it doing when we go into Power Apps. So if I come in here and I select all and I just copy my SVG, we know it's working because I just previewed it right here, right? So we know that it's actually functioning as expected. Uh, but if I go over into Power Apps and I have my little prefix here, right? That's what you have to prefix and suffix it with. Uh, so you kind of a wrapper, if you will. And I paste that. Oh, what happens? It doesn't work, right? Uh, it's because all those double quotes need to be converted to single quotes, which uh, you can do, absolutely. So if we go back here and I were to do a search and replace and I were to do single uh, double quotes to single quotes. Now watch what happens specifically maybe right around here, right? Uh, we can see, we'll see all of our double quotes get converted to single quotes. But when I convert all, one of the things that kind of happens, you start losing a little bit of functionality. I had that dynamic ability to identify the color, right? Uh, which, which was cool. And now it's gone away. Uh, but hey, you know what? It does work. So let me copy and let's go back over into Power Apps. And we'll paste that in there. And bam, now it shows up. Well, that's great. But is there a better, more seamless process? Because let's face it, when we are working within VS Code and we're working with SVGs, uh, there is a standard, right? And uh, to be honest with you, the out-of-the-box standard is double quotes. Uh, and so we get those abilities. See, when I hover over the color there, I'm able to then go in and modify things through a nice, cool little interface, right? And that's beneficial. So you lose a little functionality. We could convert it and just use single quotes. But also keep in mind, most other files that you are going to go get from the internet or you create out of Illustrator or something like that is going to be coming with double quotes because it's the standard. So is there a better way? Yes. So I have created something called Powerful Animations. It is a very simple little extension. Uh, it's got big aspirations, though. Lots more coming soon. But what is the first thing that it's, it's doing for us? Well, it's first, first of all, it's in preview, right? So I've got it out there. It's available to you. I'll give you the link in a moment. Uh, but essentially, it gives us a couple of features. So one is let's automatically convert these double quotes to single quotes, right? Uh, and let's do it to where I don't have to modify the existing code that I'm looking at. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all. It's based on your selection. So if you're working in a bigger file, then you could absolutely just select a portion of it. Maybe you've got an HTML file that's got some SVGs embedded, and you only want those SVGs. In this case, the SVG is the only thing I'm working with. And I'm going to hit the F1 key or uh, Shift Control P on our keyboard. This uh, shift command P, I believe, I think was what it is for a Mac. But you can see I've got a couple of choices up here for my new extension. One is convert single uh, convert to single quotes, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reinitiate that. I'm going to select convert to single quotes. And then down here on the bottom, 
I got a nice little notification. Hey, beginning converting, double quotes converted to single quotes on selected and copied to my clipboard. So now when I go back over to my Power Apps and I paste that in, bam, it's there and it's all ready for me, right? So uh, I did not have to go through and do a manual search and replace at all within my VS Code. So benefit number one. Now, what if you don't already have the uh, prefix and suffix or the wrapper pre-ready for you? What if you just have a nice little image with a blank image uh, field control, right? So if I go back into VS Code, uh, I'm still going to select everything. And then instead this time, and we're probably going to change this because I was actually talking to April and she said this is useful for HTML as well. So I'm going to say prepare for power apps. We'll probably remove that SVG. Uh, but what that's going to do is it's going to automatically add that prefix and suffix for me. Right. So if I know I'm just using a holistic SVG, I don't already have a image control prepped with that suffix and prefix uh, and I just want all of it done in one nice, neat little package for me. Well, that's doable, too. So I'm going to select that. We get the, the little message down here again that it's ready to go. Uh, and if I go back over into Power Apps now. Bam, there we go. And you'll notice that I've got that suffix there, right? If I go back to the home, I've already got this uh, prefix added for me. Uh, it's not using, of course, line breaks because it's just putting it all together, which is fine, but it's doing exactly what it what it's intended to do, right? Which is combine the prefix with the SVG code, with the single quotes, with the suffix, wrapping it all together so that I can utilize it here within my uh, Power App. All right, so pretty simple stuff, right? Again, uh, humble beginnings, big aspirations. So let's come back to our uh, let's come back to our slides, and you can go get that at aka.ms/vsc/powerfulanimations. Uh, again, lots more in store. We'll talk about it in a moment. Now that live preview that I had. Uh, showing you, you can actually go get that live preview extension here at that URL. And I'll put all these in the chat. I'll have it in my blog post as well. Um, and then also the SVG extension, which is useful and provides uh, some additional functionality there as well. Those are things that I went over in the last video, so we can link to that as well. So where do I get all those wonderful toys, right? Like the Joker, uh, you can get them here. But what is next? Well, uh, I'd like to start creating an animation gallery of stock animations in this extension to where if you come in on the sidebar, you're able to go in and uh, peruse or browse from a collection of an print animations, pre-built animations that uh, you could just put into your VS Code window and then move into Power Apps uh, using, of course, the uh, functionality that provides you that prefix and suffix or just converting to single qu or uh, to single quotes, um, and then dynamic variable snippets, right? Looking to add some of those. So if you're working in an animation and you're, or if you're working in an SVG, excuse me, and you're like, you know what? I would really love this particular part of the SVG to rotate, but I'm not overly familiar with the CSS required for rotation or transforming or translating or whatever, we'll have some dynamic variable snippets available and ready for you. Uh, and then some common animation snippets as well, uh, or excuse me, the dynamic variable will be inserting dynamic variables so that you can actually put those into Power Apps and make it a, a dynamic component, right? So that was the intent there. And then the common animation snippets will give you that rotation and stuff like that. So uh, looking to add some of that, that's all just top of mind. And for me, that's it, everybody. So just a real simple little humble SVG or extension. Go get it, download it, let me know what you think. And again, uh, I'm looking to add more very, very soon. All right. Mm -hmm.